Hey guys, Shooter Smalls here. Thanks for tuning back into the channel. And today I'm playing a little Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, and I'm going to be using the new gun, the RBN. If you guys do not know, the DLC came out for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare not too long ago. I think a couple of days ago, as of when I'm actually recording this video. And a part of the DLC, along with the maps and whatnot, there is a new gun that basically everyone gets for free. Now, when I first opened up the game and I, you know, I had to update, I had to do like a 5 gig or a 3 gig update, something stupid. So I just, I had 10 uh, crypto keys, I just threw them in the, or 10 keys, whatever you want to call them, threw them in the black market, got nothing, and I got 10 more. So I was like, alright, I'll just do another common. So I did another common supply drop. And boom, I actually got the gun in a common supply drop, my second one. So, pretty stoked about that. Also, I must say, this gun looks stupid. I hate the look of it. This is probably the ugliest gun in Call of Duty history. It looks like a brick with two holes in it. I mean, there's not much to say about it. It just looks like a pile of shit. Now, this is just the normal version. The one I unlocked in the supply... In the supply drop is actually this version here it's got the head rush and the lights out increased weapon melee speed headshot kills grants a small bonus to your payload meter 15 percent extra xp per kill i'll take that and all day long right that's just free shit so i'll take it and obviously that one looks a little bit better than the other piece of crap now i did a little class setup quickly with the rvn new gun here I'm using this Seeker Grenade. I have used it a couple of times, but we'll go ahead and use it. And then I've stacked up on some perks. Who really cares, right? You guys just want to see me play. So so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into a little team deathmatch and see how this baby does. So guys, here we go. Actually, on screen, the gun looks a little bit better. It doesn't actually look like a big block of goop. Whoa, what was that? It actually doesn't look like a big block of goop it actually looks like an assault rifle how he holds it his hand kind of covers up the front half of the front part of the brick there i don't know why but it kind of reminds me of the man of war from black ops 3 just the on-screen look of it it's, it kind of looks like an assault rifle so when you're in the setup menu it looks like a ugly brick and then when you're actually using the gun it actually looks uh you know quite nice really where was that guy this guy is just running around knifing everybody. Good lord. Boom, bitch. Payback. Payback, bitch. Ooh, buddy. Got one. Dude, this combat knife guy is really going to start pissing me off. This two-round burst is a little bit kind of freaky because it's just two boom boom you know it's not three normally you're like three or four anymore so far not too shabby I don't overly mind it I kind of like that you can hold down the trigger which is kind of nice but it's so stupid all he does is run around with a goddamn combat knife I can't kill him I definitely need to get like quick draw on some other attachments on it to see how actually good to see its full potential I'm actually getting my butt just straight freaking reamed right now dude guys I'm just getting wrecked boom bitch boom baby boom baby that's how we do it. Get it going. Get it going. I do like this gun though. This could potentially be a dirty little gun if you can get like a little quick draw on it or something. Maybe even a silencer. It sits down pretty nice. When you're like aiming long range it kind of sits. It doesn't bounce around so the kind of like it long range it's not too bad it is a two round burst gun and it, it auto cycles through it so all I gotta do is hold down the trigger so it's not too bad it's a little different it's basically a two shot kill so a two about two burst kill so it's basically just like any other burst gun that you would use it's not 
I don't find it super overpowered, nor do I find it super weak. So it's a good gun all around. I enjoyed using it. But in any case, that is the new assault rifle in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. It's the RVN. So if you guys haven't already, I would suggest or I would say it is worth it to jump on Infinite Warfare if you haven't been playing it in a while. Give this gun a shot. Try to unlock it. Give it a shot. See if you like it. And maybe it will kind of get your juices flowing a little bit more about Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. So guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.